Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to take a tour of the Ian Fleming International Airport and it's actually located to the right of where we are now, that's where the runway is. So we're going to take a quick tour. And the Ian Fleming International Airport used to be the Bosco Bell Aerodrome. It was upgraded to an international airport and is the third international airport in Jamaica. Sangse International Airport is the largest airport in Jamaica, followed by the Norman Manley International Airport in Kingston. The Sangse International Airport is in Montego Bay, St. James. And this airport, the Ian Fleming International Airport, is in St. Mary, in Bosco Bell, St. Mary. But the call sign for the airport is Ocherios, meaning where you see the Ian Fleming International Airport, it will be listed as Ocherios. So this airport now has the smallest of the three, the, the runway is the smallest of the three international airports. This airport cannot land like a 747 or a 737. It has to, it's, right now it can only land those smaller planes. And the government is actually looking to upgrade the Negril Aerodrome to the Negril International Airport in Westmoreland. But this airport is growing in terms of the number of flights that come in. They actually have more flights coming in now than before. they have what looks like one of those big planes on the runway so not sure what's going on oh it's not that big okay like a 747 or a 737 it's more like one of those charter planes and they have a lot of charter flights that come in here
as we said, they have a lot more flights coming in now. And they have like regular flights scheduled like weekly. This will give us a very good view of the plane. So this is actually a very large airport. It's just that the runway is not very long. So that is what is stopping the bigger planes from coming in. But hopefully as the airport grows they will extend the runway so that the planes that can land at Norman Manley and Sangster International can also land here because this airport is very strategically located right literally in Otorius so when you land at Sangster International Airport you have to drive for probably two hours hour and a half to get to Otorius while if you were to land here you would be in Otorius in 15 minutes and that's also why they're trying to ex um, upgrade the Norman, the Negril Aerodrome to the Negril International Airport because you could land in Negril on one of those international flights and then you're at your hotel within five minutes of coming out to the airport. And tourism in Jamaica is booming, doing extremely well. New hotels are going up all over the coasts in Jamaica, well, the north coast mostly. Alright guys, thanks for taking the tour with us today. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.